One day after Congressman Bobby Rush called for the head of the Postal Service in Chicago to step down, there is no indication that Postmander, Postmaster rather, Wanda Prater will honor that request. Meanwhile, mail delays are getting longer and calls to replace Prater's boss in Washington are getting louder. CBS 2's Chris Ty continues to dig into delays. Chris. Brad, Erica, a cabal of cowards. That's how some in Congress describe the leadership of the U.S. Postal Service. Congressional hearings next week are aimed to turn up the heat on the institution that's leaving customers cold. But CBS2 has uncovered that these troubling trends far predate this winter storm and even the pandemic. I used to get mail every day. But it's been 35 days since Selena Armstrong last saw new mail. It's been about five weeks now. Bills and medicine, license plate renewals, the works. I started asking my neighbors, you know, have you got mail? And everybody kept going, no, I haven't gotten any mail. And it's been weeks since we've gotten mail. At the end of 2019, first class packages arrived on time 75% of the time nationally. There's been a 15% slide in that number over the last 15 months. The Midwest even worse. Just over half of mail promised in three to five days actually makes deadline. I believe that um, there needs to be new leadership. Calls to fire the Chicago Postmaster came yesterday. Calls to replace her boss, the nation's Postmaster General, President Trump appointee Louis DeJoy, those have been coming for months. But only the USPS Board of Governors can fire him, not President Biden. Six of the nine board members are Trump picks. The other three seats remain open. Biden, with Senate approval, can pick those replacements. And member Ron Bloom can also be replaced with a Biden pick since he's serving extra time. Still, four out of nine couldn't oust DeJoy, which is why Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth is among Senate Democrats writing to Biden, I am requesting that you use your authority to replace the entire USPS Board of Governors, which he can do, but the White House has signaled he won't. In the meantime, no mail week six in the 60653 is just days away. So I don't know what to do at this point. Do I go up to the the station and ask, do you have mail for me? Those congressional hearings into the U.S. Post Office are scheduled for Wednesday of next week, Erica. Well, Chris, replacing board members and potentially the Postmaster General may be a sign of change, but does that mean anything for people who want speedier delivery in the next days and even weeks? That is the key question and a reasonable one for so many people. And the key answer there is we don't know. We have tried time and again to talk to the local postmaster here in Chicago. Once again today, that interview request was denied. We will keep trying. But when you add pandemic and winter storms and deep infrastructure flaws, as the inspector general of the USPS laid out in a report about Chicago branches this week, hope may be a ways off. All right, Chris, Ty, thank you.